In this short video, we're going to look to see how you can measure performance of your pipelines. So I've got a fairly straightforward pipeline here. I've got checkpoint data. It is uh, colon, semicolon, and quote delimited. Uh, we're going to use a regex extract to pull those values out. We're going to serialize those into a stringified JSON object, and then we're going to parse that string into a pure JSON object. And you can see the result here. What we'd like to see is how long it's taking to do that. Uh, step one is going to be we're adding a new field with this eval statement. So we're going to add a double underscore field, which is an internal field that will not pass along to the destination. It's just like a temporary scratch space. And we're going to get the integers with the plus sign indicates of date dot now. Uh, and you can see if I save this now on the right side, you'll see a new field start time has been added to all the events. So that's milliseconds since epoch. Now I'm going to add another eval towards the end of this pipeline. I'm going to enable that. This one is setting a new field called elapsed and it's equal to the current time at this stage in the pipeline minus start time. So when I do that, now we've got an elapsed field added to every event. You can see it's zero here, zero. Uh, some of them will have values one. Uh, we can only get to millisecond precision in JavaScript. And you know, at this point, you could stop here. Uh, we could pass along these events. All the events now have a new field elapsed. That start time field doesn't get passed along. And you can use your log analysis tier to aggregate and monitor over time how your pipelines are performing and your workers are performing. But let's take it a step further. So we're going to add a new, a new function to the pipeline after that last eval called aggregations. So in flight, in 60 second windows, we're gonna look for the max value of elapsed and we're gonna look for the 95th percentile value of elapsed. And those can be added to max and perk 95 respectively. Under output settings, we're still gonna pass through the original events. So this is gonna create new events with these values added and we're gonna use metrics mode. So it's, it's ready to dump into a uh, metrics index in Splunk just for grins. And then finally, we're going to remove that elapsed field since we no longer need it um, because we've already aggregated. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn off internal mode so we can get a little clearer picture here. And now we're back to the original just like we used to be, except we've got these new functions now, down the, our new events down at the bottom. These are our metrics based on the events that it saw. And now they can be, those events can be fed right into the metrics index. So we could actually add an index name here, uh, metrics, and those fields would land on the metrics index where all those events would land in metrics index and all the original events would land in the original index. Let's take it even one step further though. I'm going to turn off all these functions that we just added. So we're back to the original. I'm going to hop over to this other tab and I've got a, a new function here and you'll recognize, you should recognize this. This is our eval function to add that start time. We've got an eval function to create elapsed. We've got the aggregations function, exactly the same as we just had. And we've got an eval function to drop the elapsed field. What's new is this chain function. Uh, chain was added in Kribble stream 3.2 and it allows me to call another pipeline from within a pipeline. So I'm reaching out to that other pipeline that we're working at at this point. The event is proceeding through these functions in order and when it hits this chain function, it's gonna be handed off to that pipeline. That pipeline will process the event and then hand it back to us in this pipeline. So the end result is I've got exactly the same data here. So I've got the original data in a nice JSON format and I've got metrics data being handed off to a metric store uh, or destination. Thank you for watching. Talk to you next time.